act as if. With those confidence boosting fragrances, you wanna feel like a million dollars. But the truth is you were disputing a $35 overdraft fee yesterday. This call will be monitored and recorded and your voice may be used for verification. They do that now? Nah. But don't worry about it, my guy. I've put together a list of 10 fragrances that smell luxurious, especially when we're balling on a budget. No need to despair and spend a ton of money on scented water. These 10 fragrances will have you smelling like a crisp $100 bill when you're still sipping on Svetka. Let's roll my motherfucking music so I can put you on to 10 luxurious smelling fragrances on a budget. Bless you, one of my beautiful peoples. You know who it is. It's your boy, C3U to the B to the A. Ten fragrances, all well under a hundred dollars, that will have you smelling like you're wearing something of a much higher caliber, whatever that means. The fragrance game has slowly become like everything else in that hype train type situation. Like you want to say the name brand of this scent profile to help elevate the stature for some reason. No idea who I am, have you? Like, what are you wearing? Ah, this is Creed Aventus. Creed, only available at Nordstrom, Bergdahl. You know, those stores. But you don't gotta do that. Don't be spending all this money. If you wanna smell like a million bucks, you can start off with something like Mercedes Benz Select Night. Living in that $55 ish space, all these prices were obtained off of Google. First one, kinda lowest, that's the one I chose. It's not a problem that you're wearing a Mercedes fragrance and driving a Honda Civic. They are super reliable, 300,000 plus miles. And nowadays, they look extra snazzy with all the bells and whistles. I know it does sound like I'm reaching, trying to make it sound better, but it is an amazing car. It's a sexy, sultry date night scent profile with this beautiful vanillic sandalwood oody type sensation, light leathery notes, but very, very sexy for that $55 price point. You absolutely can't go wrong and nobody's gonna know you're wearing a Mercedes fragrance fam. And you pulled up in an Uber Camry, next one. Yeah, Angel Share is good, but camera's better for your wallet. Undisputedly one of the hypest fragrances out right now, Angel Share by Killian has been taking the world by storm in the affordable market by Latafa's camera. Sweet, sexy, nutty, and boozy, which is what I am on the weekends. A perfect date night scenario scent profile that has all the sexual innuendo that a spray bottle can offer. Can't even call it slept on at this point. Everybody has spoken about it. A ton of people have it. It's one of the highest selling fragrances on the TikTok shot nowadays. So why spend 250 when you can spend like 40 bucks? Next one. Bath and Body Work Coffee and Whiskey. A fragrance that's right now on the gray market hovering around $45. An amazing scent. I used to categorize it as the excuse to go to Bath and Body Works with your significant other so you can go to the fragrance section and hope you find a hidden gem like coffee and whiskey. It literally smells as the title indicates, coffee and whiskey. Beautiful combination, like a little Sambuca action in there and you're gonna be dripping with refined and class. Like you just wanna pull out a cigar and put the fedora on, sit on a hammock, rock back and forth, play a guitar and think about absolutely nothing while you collect the wick check. That's what I call the definition of decadence on a budget. Next one. If we're gonna be talking about the hype beast category, Baccarat Rouge 540 cannot be left off that list but my selection for the alternative would be Pure Addiction by Frank Olivier. Still in the $30 space with amazing performance and just an incredible scent profile. Like if it's not a one-to-one -one clone, it is the perfect alternative to my opinion. Yes, there's a Club de Nuit interpretation among other variations and those are perfectly fine as well. But from my personal opinion, at the $30 space, Pure Addiction by Frank Olivier can't be beat. Trust me, if you're a Baccarat Rouge 540 fan or you wanna be in the mixy crowd, ladies and gentlemen and want to smell like your 14 homegirls or your three douchebag buddies for 30 bucks you're kicking all of their asses next one parfums de marley layton don't get this just get this amber oud exclusive blue in the 60 dollars space but get it now because that will escalate it's gonna go up another 10 or 15 percent if it continues to get even more hype the shit started at like 40 some odd dollars and has slowly gone up because it has incredible performance a really close interpretation and anybody who knows anything about fragrance knows that layton gets some wet. Boy, that's a lot of cum. So get this alternative, save the additional 260 bucks, and go blow it on a stripper. Next one. When it comes to designer fragrances, although I wouldn't consider Banana Republic a designer in my mental, but Linen Vetiver is one of the most comforting, clean, freshy fragrances that you can ever wear, in my opinion. The comfort, warm, snuggly type scent profile that this fragrance has really commands such a higher price point. And these fragrances still hover in the $30, $40 space, but you're getting so so 
much more out of this fragrance at such a small budget that it's incredible. I don't think you're gonna potentially smell like a million dollars, but you might smell like a million dollar mansion. Like if they were gonna air purify an entire seven figure home, I feel like this would be the scent of luxury. It's not super ostentatious, isn't super loud or scratchy. It's actually very comforting, very inviting, and something I enjoy wearing right out of the shower on a beautiful fall or warm summer's day. This is elegance and sophistication with the utmost stealth-like quality that, that people still have not tried. I'm telling you, if you don't want something super turned up and loud, try Linen Better by Banana Republic. Next one. Roja's Oligarch. This is a banger fragrance, quite expensive, but you can go for the Dua version, which is Dua Monarch, and it's a really close interpretation. When we're talking about the Oligarch scent profile, it is very esteemed, very presidential, very leadership quality, Oligarch. When you wear that fragrance, your ego just boosts up a little bit more, your chest pumps out, you take a shit in the 24 karat gold toilet. But a place like Neiman Marcus will easily charge you 400 plus dollars for that particular scent profile when you can get it for sub $60, depending what coupon they throw that day, and get a very close interpretation for a fraction of the price. So you can still smell like you took a huge shit in a 24 karat gold toilet, but in all actuality, it was behind your neighbor's bush. Next one. I've always said that this fragrance deserves a much higher price point. That's by the house of Guerlain, and that's Lome Ideal EDT. EDP concentration is perfectly fine as well, but the EDT was my love at first sniff. Beautifully almondy, nutty, leather, sour oranges, rosemary, and thyme. Guerlain always does these nutty notes absolutely perfect. You can't beat it. And that fragrance is still at the price point of 50-ish dollars. I think it might have escalated a little bit more in the 60 some odd dollar space, but it's well under a hundred bucks. And it's so much quality for the presentation that, that I really can't say enough good things about this particular scent profile. So if you want something super sexy, very elegant, you're gonna smell and look like a million dollars. I mean, this shit will change your persona like a weird science experiment. So try it out, next one. Yep, you want Aventus. You know Aventus, it's been spoken about. You know the House of Creed, the popularity is next level. No matter what huge conglomerate currently owns it, you still want the name. Fine, Aventus is popular. My selection would be La Venture by Haramain. There are so many Creed interpretations that it's ridiculous. I wanna say that there's at least bare minimum 20 clones in the market of Creed Aventus. But for me, La Venture is one of the top, if not the top, as far as how it performs and smells off of my skin. Very strong interpretation, as I mentioned previously, Haramain does many fragrances that have great, I mean, really great performance. And that fragrance is still under the radar for hype B, so you can still find it in that 50 some odd dollar space, maybe even cheaper, shop it around. Definitely well under $100. And if you want a Creed Aventus alternative, that would be a more powerful, robust scent profile for me to recommend for you luxurious ballers on a budget. Next one. And finally, Yves Saint Laurent Tuxedo. I say still get the original if you can sacrifice that $260 price point, but right now, Fragrance World Suits, really good alternative. God, this smells good. I'm as surprised as you guys. There's a lot of people talking about this particular fragrance and it has gone up in price significantly. I got so many messages after I did a review that it continued to sell out. So I'm sure myself, among other content creators who have spoken about it, definitely contribute to that fact. I have apologize, but if you can find it, it's still hovering in that space of 50-ish dollars, and I believe it started in that $38 space. So it's a Yves Saint Laurent alternative, and I've tried almost all of them, and this one so far is the closest interpretation for your budgety needs. And here's an honorable mention. Sometimes we just gotta run into a CVS or a Walgreens and pick something up because we're trying to blow somebody's back out after those 16 shots of tequila and you don't want to smell like Hahaina dick. So Cremo's Distiller Blend actually smells pretty all right for a $20 fragrance or maybe 30 at max. But you could just run into any department store, Target, Walmart, and pick one of them shits up and just spray your nuts in before you go up there with damp and dusty bat wings. I mean, if you're not gonna smell like a million dollars after this list, you have an internal problem. You need to go to a plastic surgeon immediately, go to Beverly Hills or Colombia, Santo Domingo, get your man BBL on, and maybe these scent profiles will help you out. I love y'all mother suckers from the heart. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see y'all bitches next time. You know who it is, biggest in the game. Smooches. Hey, for 
all the chicks that got dead in the penthouse suite on top of my mom's crib. It's long since you never get in. It's long since you would think that you would... <laughs>